Good evening and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and here are the latest developments from the world of medicine. A novel way to prevent complication after a pancreatic surgery. Pancreatic fistulae or ducts that grow from the pancreas to nearby organs such as the colon are a frequent complication after pancreatic surgery. Studies have shown that the risk of pancreatic fistulae after surgery is as high as a 50%. Repairing these fistulae is also a prolonged and a complex process. It is said that prevention is better than cure. But despite multiple attempts, there are currently no effective prevention methods for pancreatic fistulae. The recent study published in Polymers for Advanced Technologies Journal said newly developed a novel hydrogel that can prevent the formation of these post-operative pancreatic fistulae. Hydrogel that is prepared in the study also has the ability to absorb that liquid. Researchers said that with its adjustable properties, excellent swelling behavior and high adsorption abilities, the novel Exivil hydrogel shows great promise for clinical applications for the prevention of pancreatic fistulae. Imotrigin monotherapy better than carmamazepine in post-stroke epilepsy. The choice of anti-seizure medication for patients with post-stroke epilepsy is still questionable. Theoretical concerns about the detrimental effects of such anti-seizure medications on survival still exist. Enzyme inducing drugs that interfere with secondary stroke prevention, the FDA has recently issued a safety announcement about the potential pro-arrhythmic properties of imotrigin. A recent study published in the JAMA Neurology investigated whether mortality varies with specific anti-seizure medications among patients with post-stroke epilepsy. They found patients receiving imotrigine monotherapy had significantly lower mortality compared with those receiving carbamazepine. The opposite applied to patients prescribed valproic acid who had a higher risk of cardiovascular and all-cause death. Levetiracetam was associated with a reduced risk of cardiovascular death compared with carbamazepine, but there was no significant difference in the overall mortality. Baked bean reduce ApoB100 levels. Common bean consumption is associated with multiple health benefits, including preventing and managing obesity, type 2 diabetes, cancer, and even cardiovascular diseases. Snack alternatives based on common beans have been developed to promote the pulse consumption. However, snacks' health benefits might be scientifically validated to proclaim them as functional foods. A recent study in the journal Nutrients suggests that daily intake of common bean baked snacks reduces the blood levels of ApoB100 lipoprotein B100. The authors concluded that the daily consumption of 32 grams of a highly nutritious and sensory accepted common bean baked snack reduces the blood levels of apolipoprotein B100. Although it did not improve any other blood lipid parameters, it did not negatively affect them. These findings therefore should encourage the development of pulse-based snacks as they are healthier snack alternatives. Body mass index and problems of mental well-being associated with high dental fear. Little is known about the association between eating disorders and dental fear. Body mass index in males and problems of mental well-being in females were positively associated with high dental fear, according to a recent study published in the BMC Oral Health. This study investigated the association between dental fear and eating disorders through body mass index and sick control one stone fat food questionnaire. The researchers concluded that among the body mass index in males and problems of mental well-being in females were positively associated with high dental fear. Increased blood retinol levels may reduce the risk of transient ischemic attack or stroke in adults. Data on the existing evidence for the association between blood retinol and transient ischemic attack stroke risk are limited and the results are inconclusive. An inverse association exists between blood retinol and the risk of transient ischemic attack or stroke, according to a recent study published in the Frontiers of Cardiovascular Medicine. The researchers concluded that a significant inverse association between blood retinol and the risk of transient ischemic attack or stroke was found. This inverse association, however, did not change even after adjustment for many potential co-founders. Moreover, the potential protective effect of retinol on transient ischemic attack or stroke could be blunted by overweight, hypertension and even diabetes. That's all for today. I shall see you tomorrow. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.